the condition of the black man in America today is part and parcel through the devilish that permitted Caucasian people to rob us of our humanity and put us in the throes of slavery. The fact that our, our black parents were taken as cattle and as, as animals and packed into slave ships like sardines amid feces and urine for months in the Middle Passage. Our women raped before our own eyes so that today some look like you, some look like me, and some look like a brother. This is a crime of tremendous proportion. No crime in the history of humanity has before or since equaled that crime. The Holocaust didn't equal it? Oh, absolutely not. That was a crime that was a disgrace in the eyes of civilized people. That uh, crime also stinks in the nostrils of God, but in no way compares with the slavery of our people. We lost over a hundred, some say 250 million people in the Middle Passage from Africa to America. We were so thoroughly robbed. We didn't just lose six million. We didn't just, just endure this for five or six years, or from 35 to 49, or from 38 to... We lost over 300 million people. The total subjugation of the black man. You can go into Bangladesh today, Calcutta, Nigeria, some really so-called underdeveloped nation, and I don't care how low that person's humanity is, or whether they've never seen running water, or a television, or anything like that, because they are better off than the black man and woman in America today, right now. Even at Harvard, they have some sort of contextual understanding of what their destiny is, but not the black man. He's an amnesia victim. He has lost all knowledge of himself. He is living a beast life.